So I'm going to show you guys how to do a fish oil demonstration. The first thing you want to point out when you're explaining fish oils is the difference between the bottles. One, this bottle is opaque, or sorry, clear, meaning that you can, the UV light can penetrate it, meaning it can damage the fish oils. That damages the integrity of the fish oils. The other thing you want to point out is that this one is opaque, meaning that no sunlight can penetrate through. All right, so that's number one thing you want to point out. Number two is you want to ask, what do people typically use fish oils for? And usually people respond, um, you know, good for your heart. Some people will say good for your joints, right? Just to give you guys um, some examples, right? Number one, good for your heart, right? It's good for your joints. It's good for hair and nail growth. It's also good for cognitive function, so any sort of brain function. Those are like the main ones, right? Um, the other thing you want to point out is if we're thinking about it for a heart purpose, right, the two things that you want to be focusing on when you look at a fish oil are called fatty acids. And the two types of fatty acids that are important within a fish oil are something called EPA and DHA. So another, going back to the bottle, you always want to point out, all right, how much EPA is in the store-bought brand and how, many, how much EPA and DHA is in our heart health. The reason why you want to point that out is these fish oil companies oftentimes don't even list how much of that is in there because they don't even know. They don't even list how much EPA and DHA. Our fish oil has 900 milligrams of EPA and 600 milligrams of DHA. Okay. It also has 300 milligrams of other omega fatty acids. Right, so when you explain a fish oil, you want to explain, okay, so there are fatty acids, EPA and DHA, in the fish oil. What do these fatty acids do? Right, so typically when you think of heart health, what they do is they act as a way to break down cholesterol or plaque that's in your body. That's why they're fatty acid, meaning like dissolves like. Fatty acids dissolve other types of fat that build up in your body. The problem with a lot of fish oils, though, is because they're not purified, these types of fish oils, there's another thing I want to point out, they come from very big fish, meaning that's one of the reasons why they don't know how much EPA or DHA is in them. They take them from big fish, you want to point out, Big fish eat smaller fish, eat smaller fish. Right? Bioaccumulation. Bioaccumulation, meaning these types of fish oils often aren't processed for toxins like lead or mercury. And they also don't know how much of the fatty acids are coming out of that big fish. Right? So big fish compared to our fish oil comes from little fish. Right? So little fish.